Good afternoon everybody, how are we all doing? If you're new to this channel, hi my name is Kathy, I like to do videos on fibromyalgia, chronic illnesses and mental health and my third babies and life in general. I also like to do a bit of baking as well sometimes. So sit back, relax and enjoy. So guys, today I wanted to do a video on cleaning tips not saying that I'm perfect at things, but trying to help ways on helping you. And if you're living with a chronic illness like myself, you probably, it might benefit from you. And if you've got any tips, pop a comment in below in the box and let me know what you do and I might be able to do it. Or do you have a cleaner that comes in and does your housework? Because I've also thought about that. So what I wanted to say is, and if I'm looking down here, because I've had to write notes because my brain fog is really bad today and my speech is a little bit off it as well and I've got a little bit of a twitch in my left eye, so like that. Yeah, sorry about that face, but oh jeez, and my pain levels is really bad because I've done some housework today and I should have took my own advice what I've written down because now I'm shattered. And I'm ready for bed. So let's get started. And I've got a brew as well. So you might want to get a cup of tea. Because I might be here a while. <laughs> so no I'm not. No I'm not. So. Like I said. I wanted to. Oh I've, I've said that bit. Sorry. See what I mean. <laughs> um, let's get started. Sometimes. You have to put your cleaning on the back plate. I'm not even going to read that notes because I've just, I'm just, my brain's just like cabbage. I know when you've got chronic illness, cleaning is a massive chore and it is overwhelming, especially when you leave it for a day or two and then you come and look and you're like, oh my lord, I should have dealt with that at the time. But your body just decided you need a flare. No, you're not. You need to have a rest. Don't be ashamed of not doing your housework because there has been days where I've not done mine. I mean, I've got two older children so they can do the washing up. And I've got a teen who needs to kick up the backside right now because she needs to start doing some housework. So, like I say, this might benefit, for, uh, benefit you if you struggle with a chronic illness or just a long time standing illness. Now, over the years, I've learned different things to do like little tips that so I thought I'd share it with you and these days where like I don't even have a I don't even have the energy to have a shower let alone clean the blooming bath you know what I mean and those days I choose to rest my body needs to rest my brain is just cabbaged all the time anyway I'm just crazy and I suffer with mental health as well added on to chronic illness and when my head is having those little shock moments, I literally cannot talk or do anything. Like yesterday, I had a bout of it. I can't even pronounce it. Something, a neuralgia. I'll pop it on the video when I'm editing. And yeah, if you don't know what it is, it's jaw pain. It goes across there. goes all the way in the back of your head. Excuse the grace. And it hurts. And it's like, boom. And then you get a little bit of a rest and it goes, boom, boom, boom. Google it. You'll, it's on NHS Choices. If you go into the A to Z, it's under T, I think. Or you might have just to Google it. I don't know how to explain it. So, let's get started. And I wanted to stress to you as well. Don't be living up to everyone else's expectations of a clean house. Because nobody has... <laughs> Maybe my sister, because she's OCD. But I wish I had that. Not in a bad way, but meaning the thought of I want a clean, I need to clean, and it needs to be perfect. But no one's, no one's perfect. No one is perfect. Please don't jump on me that. I didn't mean it to go that way. It's just that I wish I could have the thingy mindset. This needs to be done. It needs to be perfect, but it's not. It's never perfect. Housework is never perfect. My car is not perfect. It's a mess in my car as well. Anyhow, 
and having animals as well is very challenging especially when you've got two dogs and six cats now one of the dogs is molting like crazy the belgian malinois even his my springer spaniel but she the, the belgian malinois one is it's off the charts fur everywhere anyway so i'm always with uber or a sweeping brush but the sweeping brush just moves the fur to different places so today what I did is, I overdid it. This is where my tips are going to come in handy with some. I overdid it and now I'm I'm burnt out and I've not eaten either. So, yeah, I've got no energy. So I'm trying to get keep hydrated. Because that's one tip. You need to heat. You need to keep hydrated. Because if you don't do these two, you and you... You see what I mean? Burn out. I don't know what I said that fast. Ignore that. <sighs> My brain is just like, say this, say this, say this. <laughs> Yeah. If you don't eat and you don't drink throughout the day, you will have no energy and you'll just go straight into a burnout and then you're into a flare. And if you don't do that, you can have no energy for the following day. And now I can go, I can, I need to take my own advice. <laughs> because I can wake up, I'll have a cup of tea, but I don't, I don't like to eat first thing in the morning. It's just not me. Um, I can't, I don't know, my stomach just don't agree with it. Anyhow, I will eat later on in the day, but that by that time I've not, I still don't have the energy anyway to do anything. And if that's, if you, if that's you, then that's fine. Don't be, well, if you look to everyone else's expect you know expectation, oh, you should have a clean house. You should be you should be doing this. You should be doing that. Ah, just give them two fingers. Um, and you know what the worst thing is is people always want to visit you when your house is a pigsty, and that's usually my case. So I don't have anyone in. Now I have a CPN, which is community community mental health practitioner in Earth, who is supposed to come to me, but I don't. I I make myself go to them because I don't want them coming in my house because I get paranoid. Obviously, having six animals, I'm constantly in these days where I just don't do it. Uh, I feel like my house is smelly, but you know, someone, uh, my son's friends come in because I can't smell anything because I've got air freshness all around the house, but I still get paranoid. I'm sure other people are like that. So, the second one is also to pace yourself. I should have took me on advice this morning because I overdid it. It's the reason why the brain fog is bad and I'm tired and I'm, all I wanted to do is go to sleep. Pacing yourself. So what, if it's in any other day, I tend to do it. But today, because I've left it for a few days, my house were a bit minging and yeah, it just needed doing. <coughs> Sorry, I felt a sneeze coming up but it's just disappeared. So pace yourself. So maybe give yourself five minutes maybe less if it depends on how you feel so five minutes do a little bit of housework then have a rest i tend to have i tend to do about five minutes and then about half an hour rest but sometimes if i feel like a less than that then i'll get up and i'll do a bit more and then i'll sit down and rest and then have a cup of tea in between maybe have something to eat then in that part of thing but if you feel like you've done about five ten minutes and you, it's not and knocked you out, you're tired, you're exhausted, then you don't have to do anything the rest of the day because sometimes that maybe 20 minutes of doing something can make you laid up in bed for the next two hours, maybe three hours, days on end. Um, one second, and the next one is saying rest, which I've just basically said with the fact the pasting bit. Make sure you rest throughout your, out the day. So if you're doing a bit of housework, then sit down, have a cup of tea, have something to eat, make sure you rest. And if you feel that you you feel okay, then get up and do some, some more, maybe not even do your housework, maybe go out, take your dog out for a walk, etc, etc, whatever floats your boat. So there's another one as well that I use, is sit, what's that one? Sit and do tasks. So I have perching stools, so it's like a stool, but it's it's it dips down and then it sits like that. So you can just basically park your butt there and just you're perching really. And I lean on the sink and I do a bit of washing up that way. 
<clears throat> but I don't dry up. I leave it to dry on its own because that that in itself, oh, yeah, does me nothing. <laughs> so purchase tools, just sit like I'm do, doing now and then just do your washing up. If you need to rest for a while, you just sit back and obviously it has a backing on the back of the chair. I have two. I have one in my bathroom and I have one in my kitchen. So if I have the energy, I will do it when I'm doing a bit of cooking. If it's just stirring, I'll just sit on my purchase stool, sit near the cooker and just stir whatever when and if needed. Otherwise, kids come in and do that bit because it takes its toll on my wrists and my hands. And my joints are just like, oh, you need to rest. And that, and same with like, obviously drying from the dryer, if you have one. Get the basket, sit, sit on the sofa and just fold your clothes that way. Put them in the piles and then get your kids or whoever to take their piles into their bedroom. And the, the last one, because I did have a few, but I kind of lost it on another piece of paper. And I think I've thrown it in the bed by accident. Section section in your cleaning. So let's say the kitchen is a bomb site and you don't know where to start. I tend to start where the microwave is near the food freezer. I set, put it into a section, I pull it all out, clean what I need to do, pop the microwave back, tidy up the spicy corners, ketchup bottles or whatever, wipe them down, pop them back in the corner, and then I go to the next section and then the next section and then and then it's not overwhelming and if you can't finish it off then you don't need to finish it off you don't need to stress about it because there's, there's a good few times where i've just gone oh stuff that and I've, I've had to go and lay down don't overdo it because you will burn out easily like i have done today and i'm like i'm trying to stay focused so i could do this video and i thought mm, i need to stay focused and yeah and sometimes when I do my videos as well, I burn out after doing them. Even though you only see about 10 minutes, 15 minutes of what I talk about. The remainder of the day, I'm resting, cup of tea, munching if, on whatever's available, like biscuits. Same with cooking. If you can't cook, this is why I also buy a few ready meals. So if I, I have no energy... That cot's pulled out and the kids are banging whatever they fancy. Oh, with Olivia, she likes pasta and cheese. Quick, easy meal. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. I'm going to end it there because I've been babbling on for the past 30 minutes. And I will catch up with you in the next video. Let me know in the comments below what uh, cleaning tips you use. Do you have a cleaner, which I am thinking about? Do you have um, any aids that you use? to clean i've got a flash mop as well so i use that if i don't have the mop to hand and if i'm so tired in spillages i'll just use that and do you have people that help you in your family because mine are lazy anyway i won't get into that that's another video in itself anyway thanks again for watching if you're new to this channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button that notification bell and that like button as well it helps with the half a rumor rhythm and it helps push my video out throughout youtube so other people can see and that will help me as well so it that can help someone else they might benefit off my videos knowing that you're not alone and there's other people in the world that suffer with a chronic illness and is going through the same thing as yourself thanks again for watching like i said hit the like subscribe and press that notification bell i'll see you soon see you later Bye bye